All right. It is Wednesday, April 24th, 2019. And today's video is another headline news. I saw a couple of headlines that I decided to uh, make a video about. Here we go. Officials, woman dies after falling into meat grinder in horrible accident. A Pennsylvania woman is dead after falling into a meat grinder at a processing plant. Reports said it happened uh, at an economy locker storage in Munich Township. Officials said Jill Granger, 35, fell into the machinery just before noon. Authorities told ABC News Granger was found by a co-worker after co-workers began hearing strange noises coming from the commercial machine. Firefighters spent about 45 minutes disassembling the large machine in an effort to recover the woman's remains. Lycoming County Coroner Charles Kiesling Jr. said the woman may have been standing on a set of wheeled stairs before the incident. He told the uh, Williams Spun Gazette it was a horrible accident. This is just a tragedy, Kiesling said. She died inside the moving parts of the machine. Witnesses are not sure exactly how Greninger ended up in the machine. I don't know if she got caught in the moving parts and they pulled her in, or if she just slipped and fell, Kiersing said. I don't know and there's no way of determining that. Occupational Safety and Health Administration investigators are still looking into what caused Greninger's death. My heart goes out to everyone who was affected by this. Everyone is shaken and think that this is a tragedy and something like this had to happen to such a young lady, one neighbor said. That is so sad that a woman uh, named Jill Greninger fell into a meat grinder. I am I feel so sad for her. Um, prayers go out for her in heaven and for her family members having to deal with such a tragedy. That is just horrible. Alright, next. Parking garage in Dallas is um, a Dallas love field flood after a storm brings heavy rains, gusty winds to Dallas, Fort Worth. Showers and thunderstorms continue to roll through North Texas on Wednesday morning, flooding roadways and causing power outages. The damage was acute to Dallas Love Field, where vehicles in the lower level of the airport's parking garage were flooded. Water nearly reached the roof of some cars and submerged beds of some pickups. As you see here, let me zoom in. You see here the cars submerged in the Dallas Lovefield Airport garage. All right, it says here dozens of cars parked in the Dallas Lovefield Airport garage were flooded this morning due to heavy rains. So people in that area, please be aware if you're going to the airport that there could be some flooding. It says here, Mark Duberner, Dallas Director of Aviation, said Wednesday morning the flooding was caused by the same thing that put Lovefield underwater in the past. A storm water outflow that has narrowed to handle that much water coming in that short a time. When we have a very heavy concentrated event, the storm water system serving Love Field is not able to handle the volume, he said, and that causes the water to back up in the lowest levels of Garage A. Low level ground transportation was closed for the rest of the day because more rain was expected, the city of Dallas said in an email. Passengers looking for ground transportation should instead head to the upper level roadway. Customers driving into the airport were urged to park in Garage C to avoid storm water. Usually, Duber said the water which goes through surrounding neighborhoods on its way to Trinity River drains fairly rapidly, but it didn't happen this time. And you see here, water is pumped out of a parking garage in Dallas Love Field. So they have the water pumps there and they're pumping the water out. As a result, we are working with stormwater operations and running cameras to the system to see if there's a blockage. Terminals at the airport were not affected. About 60 flights have been canceled at Love Field along with at least 24 at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Low Level 1 Row C Dallas Love Field Airport Parking Garage A is currently being drained after the heavy rains yesterday. Let's see if we can zoom in here to that. You see here the, the hoses from the pump uh, of them pumping the water out of the garage. That is good news pump the water out make sure that the cars aren't submerged all right next woman trapped in crashed car was found alive after five days 
It just wanted to hear my mom's voice, she said. One Alabama woman said she was overwhelmed with gratitude after her mother survived a car crash and was found alive after being trapped in a car for five days. It is miraculous that she survived, 30-year-old Megan Heater, Good Morning America, on Tuesday said. I didn't want to go through... I didn't want to go through life without a mom. The saga began. Robin Fencher took her husband's, her, her boyfriend's car on April 17th to go to the post office in Helen, Alabama, but she never returned, Helen police said. Police responded to a welfare check on Friday, and Fencher's family reported her missing on Saturday. Authorities said, meanwhile, Heather said community members came together to search. I had already prepared myself for the worst, Heather said. I was really scared that we were gonna find her dead. At that point, I wasn't trying. I was wasn't trying to say it to my little brother because there was a bond there between them. Heather said they were connected. Heather said at the moment she realized she had been talking, taking her mother for granted. I just wanted to hear my mom's voice. She said. It turned out Francher had been in a car crash and survived. At around 12.30 p.m. on Monday, Francher was found alive in a trapped car by a passerby near Dothan in southeastern Alabama, according to Alabama Law Enforcement Agency. Francher had, hadn't been easily visible from the roadway, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency said. Heather said she keeps thinking of how scared her mother must have been. Her will to live is very strong, Heather said. I hate that she had to go through that. It's unclear how she survived for that length of time. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency official told ABC News on Tuesday, Francher was taken to the Southeast Alabama Medical Center to be treated, said Helen Police. Heather said her mother, who suffered injuries, included a shattered hip and femur, will survive. Heather said her message to others is, don't take your family, especially your parents or siblings, don't take them for granted. That is a very important message. God bless her. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I still, I'm still fighting a little bit of a cold. All right. Cyclone ravaged Mozambique braces for strengthening tropical cyclone Kenneth. A new tropical threat in the southern Indian Ocean may bring life-threatening weather to parts of Mozambique and Tanzania after this week. Kenneth underwent additional strengthening on Wednesday and has been rated a tropical cyclone by Meteo France, the French National Meteorological Service. A tropical cyclone contains sustained winds excuse me, <coughs> of 119 or 74 to 98 miles per hour, which is equal to hurricane of category 1 to strength 3 in the Atlantic of Eastern Pacific Oceans. <coughs> excuse me. Prior to reaching the Eastern Africa coastline, Kenneth brought heavy rainfall <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Heavy rainfall to parts of Madagascar from Monday into Wednesday. And you see here, it's going to be coming in. This is Kenneth strengthening and bringing downpours of rain, flooding, damaging winds, mudslides, and rough seas from the Indian Ocean next to Madagascar into Mozambique and Tanzania. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> 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 All right. Sorry, I'm I'm fighting through this cold, and also you heard my dog in the background. He always barks whenever there's somebody close to the door or anybody that's outside. He always uh, protects me. All right. Locations from Ambanja and <clears throat> Artesania to Andapa and at Lahana had drenching downpours and localized flooding. Rainfall totals of uh, of 22 to 4 inches were coming from 12 inches reported in Zambava. So guys, expect flooding, damaging winds, mudslides, and rough seas coming from Kenneth. Alright guys, that's it for this video. So much tragedy, but also good news for that woman being rescued in the car. Um, keep aware of the flooding happening in Texas. There's going to be flooding this Wednesday and Thursday. Please stay safe, turn around, don't drown. God bless you guys, and thanks for bearing with me with my cold and everything. Alright guys, see you next time. God bless.